What's up, sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel, and it's time to give you top 10 head coaches heading into the 2023 college football season on the hot seat heading into the 2023 season. Uh, we're going to give you 10 coaches that I think are definitely going to be on the hot seat heading into the 2023 season. Again, you know, these it's a top 10 video. We've been doing these top 10 videos a lot here in the off season before we head into those predictions in the month of May. So we're trying to get more off season content for you. And now we're going to be doing some coaches here that are probably going to be losing their jobs or of course they're going to be on the hot seat heading into 2023. But, um, you know, starting from, you know, six through 10, I think you'll see um, these coaches definitely, you know, heading in that hot seat direction. But then from one through five, you'll probably start to see those coaches be, a little bit higher you know they could lose their job heading into 2023 maybe by the end of the year or maybe earlier in the year so that's how the video is going to work we're going to give you 10 coaches that i think are definitely on the hot seat heading into the 2023 season and this is my list it ain't from online or any other sports channels or any, anything like that so let's just jump right into it here with my top 10 coaches that are on the hot seat heading into the 2023 college football season so we'll start with number 10 and number 10 is billy napier of florida i don't think he's definitely on the hot seat just yet um you know look at his first overall season with florida he was six and seven overall last year in his first season three and five in the conference so he's only been there with florida for one year and you know i don't think he's definitely on the hot seat just yet i just don't think billy napier was the right hire uh, for florida this or this past season it just really is hard to tell what Billy Napier is capable of, you know, bringing to the table for Florida. You know, the recruiting rankings have not been solid uh, with Florida this season. And, you know, they lose Anthony Richardson at quarterback. And it's going to be hard to tell how good Florida is going to be this year. If they do prove me wrong, uh, Billy Napier is the right guy. But if Florida does have a bad season this year, uh, Billy Napier is not the right guy. Imagine if they go 6-6 six and six once again. It would just kind of be a big disappointment for Florida fans. I don't think Florida really likes Coach Napier uh, that much. He came from Louisiana Monroe, really led that team or led that program to a really big powerhouse in the Sun Belt. So, yeah, definitely a lot of question marks for Florida as of right now. Billy Napier, though, I don't think he's quite on the hot seat just yet. But as of right now, he's not the right head coach for, you know, this Florida team. If I was a Florida fan, I definitely think he was not the right hire for this Florida program. Let's be honest, it wasn't a pretty good first season. Yes, they went to a bowl game, but there were some losses there on the schedule that they could have possibly won. Uh, they lost to Kentucky at home. They lost to Vanderbilt on the schedule, and that really um, you know, got to them as well. And they lost also to um, Tennessee on the schedule as well. So it definitely was a tough season. Uh, for this Florida team heading into or, you know, last year in 2022. So that's number 10 here on this list. Number 9 is Mel Tucker of Michigan State. Michigan State had a pretty tough season last year going 5-7, and 3-6 and six in the conference. You look at Mel Tucker, he's been there for quite a while now at Michigan State. He's 18-14 and 14 there, 12-13 and 13 in the conference. It's not a pretty good conference record. I'll tell you that right now. I think Mel Tucker is definitely not on the hot seat just yet. But in 2021, remember, they were 11-2 and two that year. And then last year, they went 5-7. and seven. This is a team that we had high expectations on in 2023. We had them chance, you know, to maybe make the Big Ten championship game and maybe challenge Michigan and Ohio State on the schedule. But... Uh, of course, that did not happen. So Mel Tucker had a pretty bad season last year as the head coach. But if he doesn't get this Michigan State team motivated, who knows? He might lose his job by the end of the year. I mean, his coaching record at Michigan State has not been good so far. It's 18-14. and 14. Remember, they had that good season last year in 2021. Or not last year, but, you know, the year before in 2021 where they went 11-2. and two. So, yeah, it was a pretty tough season for Michigan State last year. I think this will be a better team this season, but... Um, you know, definitely Mel Tucker is, um, you know, not on the hot seat just yet, but he's definitely on the top 10 here in my category. So uh, Mel Tucker is number nine here on this list. Like I said, I don't think he's quite on the hot seat just yet, but he's working towards him. If he has a bad season this year, he definitely is probably going to be on that hot seat heading into next year. So number eight is Jeff Hayfley of Boston College. Uh, he he was three and nine last year in 2022, two and six in the conference. Uh, yeah, so Boston College had a pretty big step back year from a year ago. 
Uh, you look at Jeff Hafley, though, his record at Boston College is 15-20 and 20 and 9-17 and 17 in the conference. Yes, that's not a good conference record at all. So he's had a pretty tough, you know, coaching career for Boston College. Uh, do I think he definitely loses this job this year? I don't think he's quite on the hot seat just yet, but he's worked. He's definitely, you know, moving in that direction. He's definitely moving in that direction as of right now. Uh, this is a Boston College team that hasn't been good in the first couple years or actually in the first three years for, you know, Jeff Hafley, and it's been a pretty tough one there. They went 6-6 six and six in 2021. And then last year, they went 3-9. and nine. So it was a pretty big step back here for Boston College. I think they'll be definitely better this year. They do have a lot of production coming back, but it really comes down to the coaching staff. If Jeff Haley can get his team motivated, they're going to have a pretty good season. But if Jeff Haley doesn't really get this um, Boston College program turned around, it's going to be a pretty big downfall this season for um, this Boston College team. And there's a really good chance that Jeff Hafley could literally lose his job at the end of the year. But right now, I don't really see him being on that hot seat just right now because he's brought this Boston College team uh, to two straight bowl games. So uh, last year, though, it was a big disappointment, to be honest, from Boston College. But again, I wasn't high on the Eagles last year. I am kind of a little bit high on them this season, but not really like an ACC contender or anything like that for a championship or anything like that. So... Jeff Hanfley here, number eight on this hot seat list. Let's now go to number seven. Number seven is going to be Matt Campbell of Iowa State. Uh, four and eight la- record last year in 2022. Yes, it was a young team last year. And you look at his coaching record. He's been at Iowa State for quite a while. He has a 46 and 42 record there and a 32 and 31 record in the conference in the Big 12. And yes, that's not really good at all if you're, you know, an Iowa State fan. If you're Matt Campbell as well, I think Matt Campbell is definitely not on the hot seat just yet, but he's definitely um, heading in that right direction, you know, heading in that direction of the hot seat. I don't think he's quite there just yet. I think he still has a long way to go before he's able to be on the hot seat. But if he does have a bad season this year, he's definitely on the hot seat in 2024. So that's, you know... If, he, if they have a big disappointment this year, that's going to be um, the case there for Matt Campbell. He's definitely going to be the hot seat in 2024. But as of right now, he's at number seven here on this list. I don't see him quite being on the hot seat just yet. But after a 4-8 and eight season last year, and maybe if a, another disappointing season comes this season for this Cyclones team, Matt Campbell could be very on the hot seat in 2024. So... And he maybe could lose his job this year. You never know about, you know, some of these coaches on this top 10 list. Uh, They could get fired, even though they probably are not on the hot seat in 2023. So Matt Campbell, though, um, is number seven here. Again, 4-8 last year for Iowa State. This was a young team. I think I I should really expect them to be better. But we'll see what happens. Matt Campbell, number seven here on this hot seat list. Number six is going to be Brent Pry of Virginia Tech. He's only been here for one year, but... It was a big disappointment last year for Virginia Tech in his first year. 3-8 and eight and 1-6 and six in the conference last year. They lost to a non-conference team in Old Dominion on the schedule last season. And yeah, it was a pretty big disappointment from Virginia Tech. I mean, they got their uh, last game canceled against Virginia due to, you know, the um, tragics that happened last year. And yeah, Virginia Tech had a pretty disappointing season last year. And I think I kind of expect them to be better this year. But it's going to be hard to tell. You know, the question marks are there for, you know, Virginia Tech. And Brent Pry, I don't think he's a bad coach. But, you know, 3-8 and eight record last year is just not going to get it done. But he's not quite on the hot seat just yet. I think you can give him maybe a couple years and maybe he can turn the program around. But as of right now, Brent Pry is definitely on this top 10 list. So there's not much to talk about in him. Again, he's only been here for one season for Virginia Tech. So we'll now move on to the top five. And, you know, these top five coaches that you're about to see here are definitely coaches that I think they they could really lose their job heading into 2023 season. Uh, Let's now go to number five. And number five is going to be Tony Elliott of Virginia. Again, he's only been there for one year as well. He was 3-7 and last year in his first year. Remember, they had them couple games canceled as well, so they went 3-7 and last year and and 1-6 in the conference. I don't think he's going to be fired this year, but in my opinion, there weren't really other options there, you know, in the top five category, and I have to put Tony Elliott here um, on this list here at number five. I think he could very well lose his job in his second year, but 
it's going to be really hard to tell. It really will be hard to tell. Maybe you can give him a couple more years. I don't think he's going to get fired, though. I think he can probably remain, you know, at his job if Virginia has a pretty decent season. But it's going to be hard to tell how good this Virginia team will be after a pretty downfall season last year. But Tony Elliott, I think, definitely is on the hot seat this year. I just don't think he's going to get fired just yet because it's only his second season. But as of right now, i got to put Tony Elliott here at number five because there weren't other, other options here besides Tony Elliott of Virginia. So Tony Elliott, number five here on this hot seat list. Let's now go to number four. Number four is going to be Jimbo Fisher of Texas A&M. I think fans kind of expected him to be on this list. Uh, again, you, you look at his coaching record here at Texas A&M, 39-21 at Texas A&M, 23-18 in the conference. Uh, that's not a bad overall record, but the conference record is not really that um, you know impressive. They went 5-7 and seven last year and 2-6 and six in the conference, and they were definitely one of the most disappointing teams from last year in 2022. And this team had the number one ranked recruiting class in the country last year. Don't get me wrong. They had a really good recruiting class, but they had a young team. And that really came down to the new recruits uh, to really get this Texas A&M team going. And this is a Texas A&M team that they said they would challenge Alabama last year. They did challenge them, but they did lose that game. And, of course, they really almost lost all their SEC games on the schedule. And they were on a big losing streak for a while. Uh, you know, after that Arkansas game, I think it started after that Arkansas game. Uh, we thought Texas A&M could turn it around after they beat Arkansas, but then, of course, they got all that, all those losses in the SEC, and it was just a really downfall season for Texas A&M. But Jimbo Fisher, I think, is definitely on the hot seat. I'm not saying he's a bad coach. I'm not saying he's probably going to be um, definitely fired at the end of the year, but there's a really big, you know, there's a really big concern for Texas A&M right now. I mean, I'm just really concerned about this team. I mean, if Jimbo Fisher doesn't turn this program around, it's going to be a while before uh, Texas A&M gets back to, you know, maybe an SEC championship kind of team. But, you know, they haven't just been the same Texas A&M team that, you know, they've been in a while. So, I mean, yes, in 2021 they were good. And, you know, 2020 they were good that in his um, years. They went 9-1 and one that year. But, it's going to be hard to tell what Texas a is going to look like. Just like I said, a 5-7 and seven record last year and 39-21 and 23-18 and and in the conference. I think Jimbo Fisher is definitely on the hot seat in 2023. He's my number four on this list. Number three is Nell Brown of West Virginia. Looking at his um, record from last year, 5-7, and 3-6 and six in the conference. His record here at West Virginia is 22-25 and 25 and 14-21 and 21 in the conference. Uh, that's not a good record at all. Uh, he's had a pretty tough career at West Virginia here as of late. He's been there for quite a while, but, you know, it just hasn't been really good seasons for West Virginia ever since he's arrived as the head coach. A uh, 5-7 and seven record last year is just not going to get it done. Yes, it's a big improvement, but I didn't expect this West Virginia team to really be all that good last year, and that kind of really, you know, got them right on my, you know, record prediction from last year, but... I kind of expected them to at least make it to a bowl game, but I didn't really see them winning, you know, seven games last year, maybe eight games as well. But Neil Brown, I mean, he's had a tough career at West Virginia, and there's no doubt about it, he's definitely on the hot seat in 2023. I kind of could, um, you know, see him lose his job at the end of the year, so you never know about him. So, But, you know, Neil Brown, 22-25 and 25 as the head coaching record at West Virginia and 14-21 and 21 in the Big 12 as the head coach for West Virginia. He's definitely on the hot seat for 2023. He's my number three coach. Let's now go to the top two now. And these two coaches you're about to see, I think, are definitely going to lose their jobs this season if they have a really bad year. Number two is Tom Allen of Indiana. Uh, four and eight last year in 2022, two and seven in the conference. You look at his coaching record at Indiana, it's 30 and 40 and 17 and 35 in the Big Ten. And don't get me wrong, Indiana was really good in the early 2020s. They had a really good season in 2020. Uh, they were six and two that year, 2021. Uh, they had that two and ten season, then of course, four and eight in 2022 last year so the last um you know two seasons have not been good for indiana and tom allen just hasn't been able to really turn this program around again again you know they went six and two in 2020 um, and then 2019 they were really good as well but it's just been a rough couple years for indiana now two and ten in 2021 and now two in 2022 four and eight last year 
I kind of expect a big improvement but for Indiana this year, but it's really going to be hard to tell what this team is going to look like, and the talent is not there for them either. I mean, you know, it's just been a really rough couple years for Tom Allen and Indiana's um, Hoosers. And I tell you what, Tom Allen, I think, could really lose his job this season. I think he's one of those coaches that definitely loses his job. I'm not saying he's a bad coach or anything like that, but it's just been a rough couple years. The last couple years have just not been really good for Indiana's football program. Again, you know, 2-10 in 2021, 4-8 last year. is just not going to get it done for this Indiana program. And his coaching record is not all that good as, you know, all that good either. So Tom Allen definitely on the hot seat in 2023. But it's not my number one coach. My number one coach on the hot seat heading into 2023 that very well could get fired at the end of the year is Pat Fitzgerald of Northwestern. 1-11 last year and 1-8 one, and one and in the conference. Yes, they get one Big Ten win, but that was Nebraska. And Pat Fitzgerald's been at Northwestern for a long time. He's got a 1-110 and 101 record there and 65-76 and 76 in the conference, but it's not a good record at all. And yes, 110 wins, but 101 losses there in the, um, you know, at Northwestern. Yes, he's been there for so many years, but... This was definitely one of the worst seasons that he had as a head coach from last year. And I think he's definitely the coach that really loses this job this season. And we don't know what this Northwestern team is going to look like. Uh, we don't know how good they're going to be, especially after a really bad season last year. Like I said, 1-11 last year is really painful as a Northwestern fan. If I was a Northwestern fan, I would definitely have fired him from last year. But Pat Fitzgerald has another year. I think he definitely is going to lose his job this season. You never know about Pat Fitzgerald, perhaps. He could probably turn things around this season. But tell you what, he's definitely my number one coach that's definitely on the hot seat this year. And he's definitely one of those coaches that I could see losing his job in 2023. And those are my top 10 coaches that I think are definitely on the hot seat in 2023. Uh, let me guys know what you think about these head coaches. Who do you see getting fired on this list? Uh, who do you see remaining their job and also make, making their job safe enough to where they can have another season and get a contract on their next year season as well? But stay tuned here for more sports content on the Lucas Ross Sports Channel.